Hello, uh, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Script Guy, and today I want to talk to you about one of the absolute coolest features in Windows PowerShell 5.0, and that is the ability to take strings and turn them into objects. So, for instance, what am I talking about? Well, if I use any of the old-fashioned commands, and, and by old-fashioned I mean like, dude, stuff that's been around for like 25, 30 years or more, such as ipconfig, then what comes back from this command is a series of strings. So if I want to try to work with this, to filter it out, uh, to say, you know, just show up stuff that um, that is has data instead of stuff that's empty or something like that, then if I wanted uh, to be able to filter this out, then I have two options. Number one is I can write some pretty complex uh, regular expressions to parse this, or I can try to do some other stuff. But in Windows PowerShell 5, I, uh, there's a new commandlet, and this commandlet is called convert from string. So if I take a look at the help on convert, uh, from a uh, string, then um, it tells me that uh, I can convert this stuff based upon a delimiter. I can specify property names if I want to, uh, but I don't have to. And so what I like to do is uh, to just simply uh, go ahead and uh, use this command uh, by using its basics. Uh, so when I look at my output, for instance, uh, from ipconfig, I notice that basically there's a colon in here, and this colon kind of uh, separates like um, information on the left from information on the right. So based upon this configuration, uh, then it's actually going to be pretty easy uh, for me to uh, to turn this into an object. So I pop this into convert from string, and well, not a secure string, just a plain old everyday string. Convert from string. Ah, I got a got a space there. Convert from string. And then I specify that I want my delimiter to be the uh, colon. And so when I press enter then, it's going to come back and it, it does a pretty good job of actually splitting stuff. And notice that uh, it, it creates default property names, uh, P1 and P2. Now, if I look at the uh, to, at the object that came back from this, so I type this to uh, get member, then I can see that I have note properties, P1 and P2, and it is in fact a custom object. So that was actually pretty cool. So what can I do with this? Well, since it's an object, uh, this means uh, that I can actually, you know, filter it. I can uh, do other stuff with it. So for instance, I'm going to pipe it to a where object. And I'm going to look at specifically where there is a value of uh, the property P2. And so then uh, now we see it comes back here and uh, we can see that you know, we've got um, data here, we've got uh, data over there, and um, that, it actually you know, works pretty cool.